Well, you're back again, so you must want more stupid rain stories. This one I've seen innumerable times on military ranges, not so much on police ranges actually, and citizen civilian type ranges. And that is crossing the thumbs when holding a pistol. When I say pistol, I mean a handgun like this one right here with a reciprocating slide. Reciprocating means it moves back and forth on itself. Now, what you should know and what you probably know is that when you press the trigger on a tool like this, the slide will come back that far. That's how far it's going to come back. And this is made out of metal. And the, depending on the manufacturer and make of the gun, the little corners back here are various types of sharpness. Now this, is, uh, this also leads into the, I don't give free advice anymore. You see, when I was young and exuberant in my late 20s, early 30s, and I would go to a public range, and uh, I would, if I saw someone doing something that I knew was incorrect, or if I saw someone shooting or holding a gun in a way that I knew would, could be better, based upon my experience as an instructor and a gun carrier, I might say something like, hey, how are you doing? And I would offer them free advice. I stopped offering free advice because, well, one of the reasons that made me stop was there was a, a, a young man and a young woman, and when I say young, probably in their early 20s. And he was apparently the boyfriend teaching the girlfriend how to shoot. And he handed her a gun and she proceeded to do this, to take her left hand that wasn't holding the gun and reach over the back of her wrist and hold it like that. Now, having seen innumerable people cut their left hands, their left thumbs, the webs of their left hands with the slides, I saw her do that and I saw her fire off a round. Now, she had her hand back far enough that it didn't happen. I was like, okay. She's going to keep doing that, and eventually her thumb's going to creep up far enough that the slide's going to come back, catch it. And so I walked over, and I was like, hey. And, then, and he looked at me, you know, like I was a dick. And I said, uh, Mom, make sure that you don't, you know, cross your thumbs. And he says, thanks. I've got it. And I said, you know what, bro? Rock on. You've got it. Yes, you've got it. And I walked away and I left them. I don't know if and when uh, she cut her, her thumb, her left thumb, by doing that. And if she was really angry at him for letting that happen, or, or if he was angry at her for getting blood on his new gun, or what have you. I walked up to a, a public range one time, and on the concrete, there were drips of blood everywhere, and I saw some people walking off, and someone was standing there, and I said, hey, uh, what's up with the blood and they're like oh yeah apparently that dude uh was crossed his hands i said it got him good didn't he? he says oh yeah it got him really good uh i've seen it many times don't cross your thumbs when you're holding a pistol and if you don't know what you're doing go to a school get yourself some actual training or you can just learn by you know by trial and error